All right, guys. So we've got both my action four, my action five set up identically. So in short, I have it set to white balance at 5,600 Kelvin. Also, uh, I set it, I think, at 200. I am in D log M. Uh, exposure is set to uh, 150 because currently I'm recording at 4K25, both of them with rock steady on, and pretty much everything else left alone, the angle is set to standard D warp. I've got the colors up here, as you can see with both cameras. I've got my little greenery plants here. I've got my red and black Go Dogs keyboard. And then of course the coloring, I've got this red phone case here, as you can see. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to show uh, which is very interesting between the two cameras, the screens, this red is very much more vibrant on the uh, Action 5 as opposed to the Action 4, and that's just because of the screen itself. But what does the camera see? So here's what it looks like in straight, no color adjustment. This is what you've been watching the whole time. And then, there we go. This is my attempt at color grading. It is probably horrendous, but nonetheless, this is what I am doing and I'm trying to learn. And there you go. So I wanted to give you guys a quick look at what's going on here related to being a little more cinematic. And granted, we're in a fixed mode. This is in a fixed mode. And I'm also trying to show you some skin tone colors with my orange watch. And this is my standard skin tone color. But um, these cameras here are in a more of a cinematic approach. Granted, I don't do anything cinematic that I know of. I just make videos, but who's to say that I shouldn't try a little bit more? Now, all this aside, this is what these cameras can do. This, uh, and I will identify which one is which, but these are both DJI's cameras. They have the same sensors. One is new, newer than the other um, and has a little bit different feature set to them. But in the main aspect of it, these should be relatively similar to each other. And also, more importantly, this is the importance of the D-Log M. It keeps it closest to normal that all your other cameras should have the same ability for you to do your adjustments and changes and modifications. So all that aside, guys, um, I'm saying a lot of stuff that other people have said. Hopefully I've said the right things. I am by far no expert, but this is my stab at giving the appearance of a static, even though these are action cameras, this is a static position of what you see here in those settings. What I should try here a little bit later is I'm going to try this in actually in action or a movement mode. So I hope this was helpful for you. I do appreciate your time and I'm out.